for you today. Got about 15 minute message. It might take me 30 to get it out. Depends on you and your spirit. Amen. If you can't help me, don't put your foot on me. Amen. So we're going for the word of God today. And we just thank God for each and every one of you. Amen. If you need a mask, just say so. Uh, we, we got something to back back there. Amen. Hello. Sometimes you got to help God kick in you. Amen. Amen. And that is a true statement. Amen. For all of all of the all of the the, the age today, I thank God for you. Amen. If you never speak a word, you're a testimony. That God blesses whomever he wants. I've discovered something about age, though. Uh, we don't get to be that age by being lucky. It started way down here. By honoring. I got so proud today. Your mother. That your days. I've been in the wrong house already. Amen. In fact, can I just say this to, to young people and some grown, some grown young people too? Uh, that particular scripture is like a death sentence. Amen. If the Bible says honor your mother and your father, that your days may be long. If you reverse it and you don't honor them, your days ain't long. You ought to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. Amen. Okay. Just thought I'd drop that in there because we got some grown little no manage people too. Come on, yeah. Amen. Yeah. But your days ain't long. Amen. According to the scripture, not me. Amen. But according to the word of God. We're going in the back of the book today to Revelation chapter 3. Revelation chapter 3. Amen. And we're going to start at verse 14. Verse 14. Amen. When we got up this morning, I'm sure we looked in the mirror. Is that right? But the mirror only shows you the outside of you. Amen. Yeah. But the word will show you the inside of you. Yeah. Am I making sense? Yeah. And you know what? When the word shows you yourself, you can't deny that one. Yeah. Hello, somebody. Yeah. Everything shall Everything saying hallelujah, sure enough, he's saying. But I'd like to take this word this morning, and uh, uh, I promise you it will be long. Amen. And uh, this is my thought today. If everybody in my church was just like me, what kind of church would my church be? Hello. And it is we who makes up the church. Not the building, but the believers in Christ that spend time worshiping and praising God. Amen. Y'all ready? You got a pencil up there. You might want to jot something down, or you might want to go back to this scripture when, in your own leisure. And in case you miss something today, you can, you can catch it up. Amen. Uh, Sister Blake, uh, just, just. Just make sure you all hearts are clear. Anybody need a pencil or paper? Everybody good? All right, all right. Verse 14. Amen. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodiceans write, These things says the Amen, the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. Uh -huh. I know thy works, mm -hmm. that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou wert cold or hot. Let's pause right there. Yeah. It's amazing how Jesus knows exactly 
what's in the church. Yeah. Yeah. I know your works. Amen? Hello, somebody. Yeah. And sometimes works ain't got nothing to do with the physical stuff you do. But the works is walking upright. That even when you don't speak a word, somebody says, well, you know what? I like the character of that Christian right there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to try to fashion my life after that Christian. I'm, I'm glad the word teaches us that God knows exactly what's all in the church. Mm -hmm. Amen. And, and, and that's so beautiful because sometimes just because we come to the house of God don't mean that we get to worship. Yeah. <laughs> it don't always mean that uh, good morning is not compassionate. But God knows our heart. Hello, somebody. Last week I told you, you know, if you call home friends, you need what? Battery. Yeah. And, and so until you get a battery, you need a what? Jump. Jump. Get a jump. So if somebody needs a jump this morning, that'd be the best thing to do. Look over at somebody who got a smile on their face and say, Give me a jump. Yeah. And I'm down this morning. I need a jump. Amen. Yeah. And you don't get a jump too often now. The church will look funny. They ain't gonna jump you too often. The other thing, you go and buy what? Okay. Yeah. Buy a battery. So you have to prepare yourself for worship. Here we go. Amen. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spill thee out of my mouth. God can't use you. Anybody drink coffee? Yes, sir. Uh-huh. If it's hot, you're all right. Yes, sir. It's cold. Ice coffee. It's all right. Lukewarm coffee will make you nauseous. <laughs> okay. But God said, I, I can't do nothing with you because you need a hot nor cold. It's that in between space. You know, like we, we swing around up in the church and we ain't got nothing else to do. You know what? Uh, realistically, uh, most church folk will say that they, Lord, I'm so sorry. You done blessed me so much. I can't serve you right now. I got things to do. I got some cruises to go on. I got to throw a party. You understand what I'm saying? I'm having my friends over for the weekend. We ain't got no church in our plan. Hot or what? Cold. If the heart, it can be a blessing. If you're cold, somebody can bless you. But if we're walking around deceiving ourselves with a life in Christ, what will be your case? Hello, somebody. I didn't write this. I'm just a messenger. You ought to be, 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 you ought to be happy when a message show you you. Just as happy as a check coming in the mail. I'm in the wrong house in the morning. So God is saying to this church, listen to me. I know your works. Y'all in trouble. You're in trouble. Everybody is going to search themselves just like I'm going to search me. You know what? And, 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 and a lot of times it's, what, it's not what I did. It's what I failed to do. Hello? Sometimes because a person won't tell you good morning, you all jacked up inside. Thank you, Lord. You understand what I'm saying? It's still your job to tell them good morning. Yes, Lord. And if they ask you what's so good about it, tell them because the Lord has spared me for another day. I'm in the wrong house there this morning. Amen. Y'all all right? You catching this? Oh, do a double take on that verse. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Meaning, your faith, your faithfulness, it's all gone out of the window. Amen? Amen. Y'all all right? Yeah. You know, it, it, it's, 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 it, it's, no, it's, not, it's not just the way. You need God. God needs you. All he desires is your worship 
and your praise. Yeah. Jesus said, if you love me, you keep my commandment. Y'all yeah. all right? Yes, sir. Is this in the book? Yes, sir. But y'all looking at me strange. Come on. If everybody in my church was just like me, mm -hmm. what kind of church would my church be? I forgot to tell you, don't you look at nobody else. Amen. Thank you, Lord. No, no, no. Don't look at, don't look at your brother. You see, sometimes that dirt you've seen on your brother just means you didn't wash your window. <laughs> that clothes ain't dingy. Your window dirty. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Help me somebody. Yeah. Mm. Hot, no cold. <clears throat> Sometimes God don't even get out of fault. Which y'all in here? Can I really hurt you to death? Mothers, grandmothers, we teach them babies how to pray. Our father, which y'all in here? And when they get to the end, you say, you forgot something. What's that, mama? And God bless mama. The child asking God blessing on you. And you wouldn't pray for your own self. Mm -hmm. Hello. Yeah. Mm. Suffer little children to come unto me. Yeah. For yeah. such is the kingdom yeah. of heaven. Yeah. I'm in the wrong house here today. My sisters and my brothers. The book of Proverbs teaches us to read that child and admonish that child in the ways of the Lord. Yes, yes. Am I right? Yes. And when you fail to do that, no matter what comes up in that child's life, why are you crying? I thank God for the Sunday school lesson this morning. I, can I help you a little bit? Amen. Amen. You think it's over no. when death comes? No. Especially when you a mother and a father and you lost a teenage child, small child, you think it's over? God got a question. He said to the mother and father, did you train them? You didn't train them. You got some problems. <coughs> I'm trying to help somebody this morning. Jesus knows exactly what's in the church. Oh, yeah. you know, and you know, I thank God this morning that he don't allow us to know each other's thinking. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Because we get up and walk out. Oh, Lord. You mean that half a singing to me? <laughs> yeah, thank you, Lord. You mean that preacher up there trying to preach to me? When he looked down dirty, nasty, and stinking. I told you this one to show you the inside. You understand what I'm saying? The Bible says you will know a tree by the fruit it bears. Come on, let me help you this morning. Didn't mean you didn't train them and teach them right, but when they come of age, they make decisions for themselves. I don't care how grown you are. When you come to my house, as for me and my house, Amen? Amen. I'm in the wrong house. Amen. I thank God for all of my children, but I ain't their buddy. Amen. I ain't their buddy. You don't qualify to call me Prince. You understand what I'm saying? You don't qualify to call me a nickname. I ain't got none. You understand what I'm saying? And let, let me go on from there because I feel a cool breeze right there, but I'm going to read it again. Ain't none of my children, grandchildren, or nothing. Don't ever roll up on me and call me Prince. I ain't your buddy. If I said, if I am what I know I am, I am your friend because I will tell you that the wages of sin is death and the gift of God is eternal life. I'm in the wrong house here. I'm 74 years old. And sometimes when thoughts come in my mind that shouldn't be there, I can hear my mama's voice. 
You understand what I'm saying? No, 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 no. No, no. And let me tell you something. You will never be an efficient child of God as long as you've got thin skin. Thank you, Lord. So this deacon right here, he around the corner talking about me. And God reveals it to me. You think I'm upset with him? Thank you, Lord, for letting me know where I stand. Now I can handle myself. I can maneuver myself down the road of life. The Bible says, deal with your adversary quickly. You understand what I'm saying? And please, son, let me tell y'all something this morning about forgiveness. Sure, we're supposed to forgive people. But that don't mean I got to stay with him and let him misuse me again. Amen. I'm in the wrong house. You understand what I'm saying? Well, I ain't gonna say, I'm going to say something. I ain't going to hurt his feelings. Yes, I will. If the truth hurts your feelings, you just hurt. And if the truth causes you to bleed, you ain't dead yet. Give him some more. I'm in the wrong house here today. I know your words. Read. Hot. No, cold, huh? Ain't regular enough. You understand what I'm saying? Can I really break this law? All of them here today, but very seldom is there all the deacons in the house. Sometimes they got to take one. <laughs> My wife won't allow me to take one. And she don't like to be late. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> to be here this morning is a privilege yes, is. and a miracle. Yes, it is. You got what I'm saying? Oh, y'all don't believe that? Somewhere in the book of Numbers, I'm not going to tell you where that. Read it and you'll find it. If God can use a jackass to speak, and I'm the highest of his creation, and I got to come late to get his word, as if I'm doing him a favor, can I tell you? He knows the very strength of hair on your head. He knows your thought before you think. Mm -hmm. If everybody in my church was just like me, what kind of church would my church be? And we all supposed to be a family, right? You can go to college with your family. Your biological family and your church family. And when you, they'll take you to college and you ain't gonna graduate. Yeah. You ain't never gonna graduate. You don't get no degree. Mm -mm. But that, that's called life. You remember last thing I told you? Face life and trust God. Face it. It is exactly what it is. I'm in the wrong house here. Somewhere in the book of Isaiah it says, life is like a highway to heaven, but it got signs on the road. Yeah. Caution, stop, falling rocks, yielding right away. All those signs. Amen. Yeah. When uh, it says yielding right away, it means stay in your lane. Yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We need that this morning, right, St. John? Right. Stay in your lane. your lane. That's like the usher tell the choir. I don't like that song you sing. That's all right. You got to do it. You be faithful, God, to do it. Hello. You cannot help the church folk. I don't like you to be ignorant now. And sometimes people be praying and say, Every head bow, every eyes closed. Don't you? Everybody don't close your eyes. Mm -hmm. I got to see. 
Because you're giving the enemy a straight pathway. Can I give you an example? A few years ago, I was in prayer. This lady had her eyes closed. Somebody took her purse with about $850 in it. And the usher informed me, and so I said, well, Lord, bring it back. And I prayed for that purse to be like fire on the thief head. And the next morning, he brought the purse back. Not one guy missed it. Amen. What's the moral of the story? Everybody don't close your eyes. I know you want to show off your Gucci. <laughs> But you ain't gonna give God but so much. You remember you put that in your hand, the palm of your hand. Everybody here honest. The word said, I know your works. I know what's in the house. Don't make me go over there. Go ahead. You Can I go over there? Go over there. And so many folk they, they sit there. I say, well, you know, my wife going to church. I ain't worried about it. You better know what's all in the church. It's all in the church, right? Hmm. There's some pimps in here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Why you home drinking that beer, watching football? Somebody watching your wife <laughs> at the church. <laughs> Let me need y'all. Y'all want my call too? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? <clears throat> Hello. <laughs> Just, just, just for knowledge for married men. Sometimes me and my wife be out and she be walking so far ahead of me. I gotta say, hey, are we together? <laughs> Slow down. Slow down. Come on back. I'm with you. Don't walk quite as fast as you. Slow down. Make me know we're together. Don't make me think you're running up ahead. <laughs> He gave a signal, he with me. You <laughs> <laughs> see how you laugh just now? And you don't have to be angry to hear the word of God. The Bible says this, 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 this. This word could be bitter to your mouth, but sweet to your belly. What it means is that it will transform you. It will take scales off of your eyes, unstop your deaf ears. And the Bible says we can do wrong so long we start to think that it's right. Can I finish it? I don't think I'm going to finish because half of y'all look kind of sleepy. Yeah. I'm telling you now, you want to stay awake in church, you got to go to bed early on Saturday night now. <laughs> Amen. Can we go? What verse we on now? 17. Yes, ma'am. Because thou sayest, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing, mm -hmm. and knoweth not that thou art rich mm -hmm. and miserable and poor and blind and naked. Chasing things. I don't care what you own, that don't define who you are if your character is wrong. You can put a pig in a beautiful white suit. You know it's going to get dirty. Because it's his nature to wallow. We can't fit being a Christian. Something got to come from the inside. Being a good Christian, you ought to learn to be sacrificial. In your prayers, stop praying all the time. My child, my house, my car. What about your neighbor? Because when you didn't have good sense, somebody else praying for you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. If you know I'm very near. Hey. I know some people that have been praying for us. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? Mine alone didn't get it. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. Wake up. 
Wake up, wake up, wake up. Amen. He said he got a birthday tomorrow. I'll thank God for you. I ain't too excited about my original birthday because I didn't come here to stay. But what I'm excited about is my second birthday. The day I've been born again. Oh yeah, I'm excited about that. Because see, I could have been 74 and lost. That's right. Amen. I'm in the wrong house every day. Amen. Amen. Can I ask you one more question? Who told you that you were beyond repair? Yeah. Find him for me and bring him to me so I can let him know as I let you know that Jesus died for all of us. Yeah. You're not beyond repair. Mm. And for those of you that say you got low self-esteem, throw it out the window. Low self-esteem? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, God says, I only made you a tiny bit lower than the angels. Yeah. And even in you, he said, I give you the power that in my name, you can send mountain move. Yeah. And the mountain got to move. Oh, yes, Lord. I'm in the wrong house. Yeah. Mm. You can sit. Just read for me. Mm. I things, can't. things, things, things. And we let things shape our character. Yes. Yeah. We let things shape our character. Amen. Let me tell you. I observe a lot of home going. Nothing goes in the grave. And the most valuable thing in the cemetery is a tombstone that can't be reused because it's got a name on it. Yeah. Right. Huh? Yeah. Hey, hey, you can't reuse that one. Yeah. And that's the most valuable thing in the cemetery. Yeah. Listen to me. If I die today, take this off. It ain't no good in the grave. Matter of fact, this history right here. This tell you about the ups and the downs. The hard times and the good times. The times we cried and the times we laughed. And the times we loved. And the times we meditate together and prayed together. And the times that you correct me and I correct you. According to the word of it. This history right here. He don't do no better in the grave. Mm -hmm. I did say history now. Yes. It's not for the next hook. <laughs> <laughs> just, just for history. Huh? Ain't for the next hook. You get another one of them, he got to bring it home. <laughs> you don't have to be upset to hear the truth. Yeah. Amen. Uh, so we get shaped with things. Can I just a little bit say something right here? No matter what you got, God said, it is I that give you the knowledge to gain wealth. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Women folk, especially that might talk. <laughs> My husband didn't give me a dime on that. That's my car. That's God car. But the next person is driving you leave. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Can I can I just go to the Father? I'm wondering today. A billionaire would rather hang himself then repent. And if he repents, he got the same chance as me and you. Now, Rev, that don't sound right. On the cross, there's a thief that's guilty, knows he's going to die. Never complain that I didn't do it. He just said, Jesus, 
When you get in your kingdom, would you remember me? Oh, I'm sure how repentance is so powerful because Jesus said, this day, come on, go with me. Am I making sense here? If everybody in my church, oh, please, ma'am, don't get it twisted. St. John ain't my church. I'm speaking about where we worship together. It ain't my church. It ain't for life tabernacle. Hello. Yes. And sometime on this journey, I have to ask the Lord, why do I preach? I didn't put in no application. My daddy didn't pass through a church down to me. Why do I preach? I had no resume. Why do I preach? Because out of the womb, he ordained me to preach. Not yet. You got to grow up. Amen. You got to get some wisdom and some tutoring. Hello. And if the Holy Ghost don't call you out when the time is right, then you go back. Ain't nothing happen. All hearts are collect. Yeah. Can I go? Yes. Y'all, would y'all allow me to finish this? Or y'all want me to cut it short? Finish it. You, you got enough to chew on yet? <laughs> huh? Counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, and white raiment, that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. What this verse is telling us is true faith, righteousness, enlightenment by the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. God is saying, you think you're rich because you got some dollars in the bank. Amen. Amen. Um, and that was a rich man. And I don't need him. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. I would rather be poor on this side and rich on the other side. Amen. <laughs> than to be rich on this side and beg for a drop of water. On the other side, oh, let me clear this up. Don't you ever think that being rich is a sin? God blesses whomever he wants. And especially when you're good students. Can I run back to you? Richest man in the land, but he was righteous. Amen. At the close of the day, he said, Lord, them kids like that. They ain't in the house with me, but just in case they trample on your goodness and your mercy, I'm going to pray and make sacrifice on their behalf. Well, Hello, somebody. If you're going to pray, don't worry. Amen. If you're going to worry, don't mess with God. If you're lucky, don't you let God in come out your mouth. Because I don't find luck in the Bible. I find blessings, mercy, goodness, grace. One of those characters you got to be careful with them, though. That's justice. See, we want justice on somebody else. And you don't slip under the rug. You're wrong doing. So justice is for us. Never go under the road there. I got justice for you too. Well, mercy said, Lord, peace out. Forgive me. Thank you, Lord. Can we go? Psalm 51, when David comes before the Lord, the boy is in a mess. He's an adulteress, he's a murderer, he, he, he's, he's done disgrace kingship, he's done disgrace God, but yet he comes and he says, have 
I ain't got no ground to stand on, Lord, but if you just have mercy on me. Somebody spelled sin for me. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you how to get rid of it? Take the I out <laughs> and push an O in between the S and the N. Son, the Son of God, the God on Calvary for your sins and mine, take the I out. And you gotta watch anything that's got an I in the middle. <laughs> sin. Yes, I am. Pride. Did I hear it? You gotta watch for us. Always look for that old way now. Look for Jesus up in there somewhere. Amen. Go verse you. Can I write this up? I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire, that thou mayest be rich, mm -hmm. and white raiment that thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear. And anoint thine eyes with eye salve, that thou mayest see. And what gold are you going to buy from God? He's talking about truth, righteousness, faithfulness, and enlightenment by the Holy Spirit and the Word of God. Amen. That's the gold. Amen. That will not perish. Mm -hmm. The Bible says before, one jot of this word filled heaven yeah. and earth yes. got to pass away. That, listen to me. Every time you open your book, if your atmosphere is right, you're in the face of God. <clears throat> now that don't sound right to me. Rather, in the beginning, was the word. did you catch it? Yep. Yes. Huh? Yes. So, and, and change your atmosphere. When, when you're going to the word, uh, seeking God's face, Sometimes just to be strengthened, or you got a matter before you, uh, change the atmosphere. Uh, uh, get it quiet. Mm -hmm. no, no, no music, no, no television, no nothing. Just one. And let me tell you, see, when you, we got it backwards, because see, the Bible instructs us that once you pray, then shut up. Mm -hmm. Lie still upon thy bed and meditate. In other words, you're waiting for God to talk back to you. Amen. See, I, you know, I don't like church folk raising their hand. Come on. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. Me neither. I don't know. Pastor, I don't know what I'm going to do. Me neither. Trust God. If you can't trust him, I don't care how much faith you got. If you can't trust him, you ain't going no way. And I got to tell you, you got to trust him when it don't roll out in your faith. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let's wrap this up. You know, you're not used to getting out of here so early. <laughs> you don't look too well. <laughs> Come on. Come on. As many as I love, I rebuke mm -hmm. and chasten. Mm -hmm. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. Many as I love, yeah. I rebuke them <laughs> and I chase them. Listen to me. When God let things blow up in your face, that ain't right. Amen. That's because he loved you. That's right. Hello. Don't, don't raise your hand because all of us get there. You remember that lie you told your mom and daddy? <laughs> don't, don't raise your hand. Now, if you ain't never told your parents to lie, you can stick your hand up high. <laughs> I'm going to give God praise for you. You understand what I'm saying? Right? And why do you think your parents chastise you? They want you to do the best in life and do right in life that God will continue to bless you. Amen. You understand what I'm saying? They wouldn't be. Thank you, Lord. They wouldn't be mean or hard. Mm -hmm. you, you understand what I'm saying? Hello. Yeah. It is an amazing thing how the law of the land could interfere with the word of God. So you give them the word of God. Amen. Yeah. I like to give information. Young lady daughter got an unruly. And um, she spanked him and the girl called 911. And the police showed up and said, Well, ma'am, you can't you can't hit the shit. She said, Hold up. She went in the room and got all the clothes in the garbage bag and gave them to the devil. 
Take them with you. Can't stay here. We got room on the house. You understand what I'm saying? Hey, y'all don't want to go to jail for spanking the child, but you'll go to jail for stealing a bracelet on the wall. Come on. <laughs> Bear out of a convenient store. <laughs> Meet out of IGA. <laughs> it ain't that important, but, but you let that child grow up thinking that they can be unruly. Amen. And listen to me, when they're unruly in your house now, they're going to leave your house. Yeah. And the world ain't like that. This world is true. I'm in the wrong place. Like, oh, I'm in the wrong house here today. Amen. Amen. Uh, 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and he with me. Mm. Now that, that's the doors of the heart. That's not the physical door. The doors of your heart. Amen. And because you got a conscience, listen to me. As long as your conscience working, you, you're good to go. Because that's going to tell you when you're right. It's going to tell you. And I call it a self-accusing spirit. Because what? It's talking to you. Nobody says but you. You got it? Sometimes the Lord can tell you, you travel this road every day. Don't go that way today. You go anyhow. And you run into calamity on the road simply because you didn't hearken to the voice of God, which is the Spirit of God that says to you, don't go this way. Here's another thing I need to tell you right now that would help you in life. It's called humility. The Bible says a little humility soothes great offense. You understand what I'm saying? How many of y'all done lied to the police said I wouldn't speak? <laughs> Nobody? Yeah. Well, you know, y'all some, some good church folk. Y'all some beautiful church folk. But I, one thing I know about you, you're lying. Yeah, you lie. <laughs> and when you lie, you have the tendency to get an attitude with it. And if you didn't get an attitude, the, 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 the policeman may just say, well, slow down, I'm going to give you a warning. Mm -hmm. But you went to a cussing and you're raging. Mm -hmm. Right. So, <laughs> I ain't never did that. <laughs> Once I grew up, I ain't, I ain't do that no more. <laughs> you feel better now? <laughs> Listen to me. Since the light on things. I just want to say this and I'm finished. A little humility will soon greater things. There's nobody in this building that's beyond repair. Are you listening to me? Nobody that's beyond repair. Even even, even when the world stops you. So, there's a woman that was brought to Jesus and said, this woman was caught in the very act of what? Adultery. Adultery. Never brought Amen. The man. Right? Now, the law said that they should have stoned her to death. Let me show you what humanity do. Jesus caused them to look in themselves. He simply said, ye, that's without sin, can't. Did you catch it? What that tells me is you know when you sin. Nobody has got to tell you. So if we are in sin, 
We ought to be working and helping each other get out of sin. When the Bible says, come together and confess your fault, that's not giving somebody information to give you. Deacon Elliot may have been in a ditch. I ain't got to yet. But if he shares it with me, I can go around that bad dick. Mm -hmm. So when, 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 when Jesus speaks to the woman, he said, where art thou accusers? They're all gone. Mm -hmm. What's the blessing of the situation? She was the only one left with Jesus. Mm -hmm. So she had a chance to be blessed and restored right there. Everybody else covered their sin and ran. That's right. Did you get it? Yes, yes. Too, too stubborn to repent. And that's all God requires. That's right. If this ain't been your cup of tea, don't you drink one drop. But all I can tell you is in the book, and it will not fade. If everybody in my church was just like me, what kind of church would my church be? And it would be a good thing to communicate one with another. Be a good thing to sit and meditate one with another. Yeah, I hear you, Reverend. Even I can't make all the journeys. But I know one thing, prayer can sail across the ocean. Oh, yeah. Prayer of working your home. Prayer will make you love one another. Prayer will bring a wondering child Amen. back home. God bless you and may heaven smile upon you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Whoa, don't forget your family.
You know the rich folks and poor folks alike. They can hardly find peace of mind. But don't give up. Don't be discouraged. I know that the Lord is standing there. Father, we 
glorified in us. In the majestic name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, let every heart sing. Yeah.